Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna be unboxing a Tinker Crate and I'm excited to get into this crate and to see what it is this month. So if you're new to my channel, I create this channel as a homeschooling resource to do unboxings like we're doing today, to give you different curriculum and organizational ideas and also ways to invite Christ into your homeschool space. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button and let's get into this crate. Okay, so this crate this month says paper circuits wire up glowing paper lanterns and learn about circuits. So I think that looks, that seems really cool. We've done a little bit with circuits before, not in the crates, I don't think, maybe, I can't remember. But my son had a little circuit board that he likes to play with and thought that was fun, so this will be fun for him. But there's our blue prints right there. I'm like in a weird voice talking mode today. <laughs> I don't really know why. Anyways, so this is kind of a picture of it. It looks like flower <laughs> right here. I, I don't know if it's supposed to look like flower, but it does. So we have all of our instructions in here and they're always very detailed. They give very good troubleshooting ideas. So they're very good instructions. And then we have our little magazine tinker book, I guess that gives additional insights, experiments, history, background, all that kind of stuff. So it says light it up, wire some circuits. So. You can go in here to learn some more. Oh, electric fish, that sounds pretty cool. And then it has some other experiments maybe you can do right here. So in here we have, why, I don't know if this is wire, it's copper. It looks kind of like copper tape, but I'm not really sure if that's what it is. I guess we'll find out. And then a whole bunch of our little circuit pieces, a nine volt battery in here. So there's that stuff. These are a whole bunch of plastic pieces. They're clear. It's going to be kind of hard to see there maybe a little bit. So they're like a thick plastic. And these are just stickers that we have here. And then these are our pieces to make our lantern. Is that what it said they're called? Paper lanterns? Yes. So that just makes me think of Tangled. Yeah, you know, put the lanterns out. That's what it's making me think of and want to sing the song anyways and so that looks cool there's like a little robot head peeking at us from back there so that's what's in this crate this all looks a lot of fun it'll just be interesting to see how all these circuits come together and i think my son will really enjoy it so i'm gonna let him get at it and we will let you know how it goes doing the tinker crate and I think he had a lot of fun doing it I enjoyed watching it learning about circuits and electricity I think that kind of stuff is really fascinating so I'm gonna show you a few of the activities that he made and just explain a few things about them so he made these little lanterns and they have lights inside of them I'll insert footage of us using these but then at the bottom it has the light right here it has the copper tape so this was very important because this is completing your circuit and then you can put this on this little device right here that needs to have the battery hooked up to it. <laughs> the battery is hooked up to something different, so I'll talk about that in a minute. But when the battery is hooked up to it and you align it just right, it will light up the light in the middle. And so he made a few of these different lanterns. There's different ones and it comes, there's this black sticker paper. So if you want to decorate them, it has kind of an example of it right here. You can put some de decorations on them. So I thought that was a lot of fun. And so he just did this real quick this morning. And then he also made one that looks like this. So again, they all have their little lights in the bottom. And you just have to make sure with these wires, there is a short side and a long side. And that's important to get it to turn on. So on this device, you kind of have to just spin it around until you hit it the right spot where it will light. So. It's completing the circuit. I don't know how electricity all works, but it's important. So you have to read the instructions and it's just barely shorter. So you just have to know which side's shorter so that you put them the right way. 
So I was gonna explain about this battery. So he made this little guy this morning, this little robot. So he has a circuit on the back of him. So something that's cool about this, he hasn't done this one yet, but one of them's a parallel circuit and one of them is, I can't even remember what the other circuit is called. Let's look, it's in the book, series circuit. So we have a parallel circuit is this one right here and then the series circuit is right here. And so that's teaching them some something about electricity. You can talk about the electricity going through your house and just talk about these different circuits and what their purpose is, where you see them the most and things like that. That would be a really fun activity. So the battery is hooked up to this one because we just did this. So again, this is one of those crafts. I wish they would just send two of the battery with the connectors because we have to undo the tape right here and then retape it to this to get it to work. And so that's, it's just a little bit tricky. It'd just be easier if we didn't have to do that. So in here, the wires right now are turned upward and that's why his eyes aren't lit up. So let's see if we can get his eyes to light up. There we go. Oh, it moved just enough. So that's his eyes lit, lit up. So the wires are touching in just the right way and they're touching the copper tape hard enough that they're lighting up. And then occasionally it's a little bit finicky. <laughs> So I thought that was a really fun activity. Again, if you wanted to do this one, you know, you're having to take off the battery with each one and switch it around and switch the tape. It would be easy, I guess, if they could just snap into each other. But these ones, you have to tape them on with the copper tape, which we have plenty of the copper tape, but it's just not the easiest task. So those are cool. I thought they were a lot of fun. I just wish they had sent another battery pack. And then there's still a few lights left. So there's enough for him to do this one. There's a few other activities, I think, in the book that use the lights. I can't remember. I think this one, we haven't done this, but you can make your own like skyline, basically, and poke some holes in it and have your little cityscape with their lights on the top of them. So I thought that would be a fun activity. They also talk a lot about static electricity in here, and they have some different activities you can do with that. So I felt like this had a whole bunch of activities you could do to learn more about electricity and to teach your kids about electricity. And I thought that was a lot of fun. And since you still have a lot of copper tape left, you could do a lot of really fun things with that and kind of drive the idea home of these circuits and how you have to have this complete circuit like this one, you know, with the wires turned a certain way for his eyes to light up. Otherwise they don't like they aren't right now because the circuit's not <laughs> complete. There it goes. So it's, it's kind of jumping. It's trying to scare us. But I thought this was a really fun craft. I'm excited for him to explore it a little bit more and to use it a little bit more. So if you enjoy seeing these videos, please give us a thumbs up and we will see you next time.